Hey, it's Brian Mutt. This is my cheat sheet for Monday, November 19th. Coffee spill on shirt and ready to roll. All right, so uh, housing. We have a few different groups of people that are in the mix on the whole housing story right now. You have folks that really wanted to buy, but were afraid to get in towards the end of last year or, or early this year because they didn't want to catch the falling knife, so to speak, or you know, were so concerned that the bottom may not be in unhousing. And so they sat on the sidelines. A lot of those same people that are sitting on the sidelines because they were afraid of housing depreciating have now found that the housing market has actually rebounded rather sharply in our area, with the average year-over-year -year home price increase being about 14.5%. So a lot of those same folks are saying, well, shoot, now I missed my opportunity. If you're in that camp, let me explain why that is not necessarily the case. If you're planning on purchasing with cash, and make no mistake, a lot of people have, 74% of all home purchases in September, for example, made with cash in Palm Beach County, and the number's still over 60% on average throughout the Treasure Coast. But a year ago today, I, I pulled up mortgage rates a year ago today, average 30-year fixed rate mortgage was 4.05%. I mean, phenomenal to be sure, but still higher than where we are today. The average 30-year fixed rate mortgage, as I do this, is 3.44%, or to put a percent to it, 15.1% lower than this time last year. So think about this. You had a 14.5% increase on average in pricing, but a 15.1% decline in mortgage rates. That means if you're financing, the mortgage rate decline has more than offset the increase in pricing. In other words, your same relative affordability in terms of making a mortgage payment is in today as it was a year ago today. And you have the benefit, if you are afraid of catching the falling knife, that you don't have to worry about that anymore. We know the bottom's in on housing, and in fact, housing's on an upswing. And one more reason why I think it makes sense is that we have a lot of money coming out of the stock market right now. A lot of people don't know where to go with it. Where do people go when they're uncertain? They go to real estate. Remember, in the recession in 2000, 2001, we actually saw real estate began to appreciate in a very big way. It laid the groundwork for the housing boom because once people pulled money out of the stock market, especially after the uh, dot-com bubble burst in 2000, they put it into real estate. I think we have a very good chance of seeing that happen. In other words, not only do I not think that the housing uptrend is over, I think it could actually accelerate into next year. And one other consideration for you. If you are interested in move up buying, Ashley and I did this earlier this year, took my own advice. You might not be underwater if you thought you were. My research shows that at least 20% of the homes that six months ago in Palm Beach County that were underwater no longer are because of appreciation and pricing. In other words, if you really did want to move up buying, but you didn't have to, didn't want to have to come to to the table with money to get out of your existing home and then money to put down on a new home, you might be in a much better financial position than you actually realized. By the way, on my physical cheat sheet today, um, because so many people are looking at year-end tax selling because of the threat of tax increases come January, including dramatic increases on investment in particular, I have the Economic Freedom Index. It's kept by the Wall Street Journal and the Heritage Foundation. There is a sad story here. The United States has fallen to 10th, down from 7th last year. We used to rule this at number one for decades. Uh, no longer the case. Um, so there are countries that all the way around are potentially better places to put our money. And again, I'm very, I feel very sad in saying that. But do your research. Talk to your financial advisor. You'll find them on my physical cheat sheet. I will tell you that you got Hong Kong at 1, Singapore at 2, New, Ze New Zealand and Australia, three and four there. Uh, Switzerland's five. So there are some options. Um, also, uh, expect gas prices to get ready to level off. Uh, about a month ago, I mentioned 35 cents would come off. We've seen 32 cents so far. You've got a few more, and then it's going to settle out. Now, plenty more for you on the physical cheat sheet today. I invite you to go check it out. Uh, enjoy your day. It's Thanksgiving on Thursday. Let's get there. We'll see you tomorrow.